Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Flavia Beswick and we continue our five part series titled Let's Talk Purpose. Our final topic for this series is Godfidence. Yes, you heard right. Not confidence, but Godfidence. Stay tuned. When I said Godfidence, what came to mind? Of course, of course, you thought of the word confidence, but why would I say Godfidence instead of confidence? Could it be that sometimes we are conceited? Could it be that sometimes we are boastful, prideful? Well, yes, that is exactly it. Sometimes we get so caught up in what we think we are capable of, what we think we can do in our own power, and that's not even remotely close to the truth. The truth is, without God, we are nothing. The truth is, without God, we can't do anything. We can't even wake up in the morning unless God permits it. And so instead of saying, have some confidence, I decided to use Godfidence instead. Because we need God in every aspect of our life. Don't you agree? Last week, we talked about comparison. This week, we're focusing on what it means to truly have confidence in God. If we don't have confidence in God, there is no way that we can fulfill our purpose. We have to believe that God is who he says he is. We have to believe everything that God has told us and everything that God has called us into. And so in order to have this confidence, there are some things that we have to first put in practice. Firstly, faith. Hebrews 11 verse 1 says, now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. So even if you can't see how it's going to work out right now, even if you can't see the resources right now, even if you can't see exactly how God is going to open that door, know and believe that he is going to do what he said he would. God always keeps his promises. And guess what? If he has called you into something, believe that he will make ways and he will open doors to ensure that it happens. But you have to have faith. Next up, you have to have a relationship with God. Having a relationship with God includes talking to him constantly about things that happen in your everyday life, just as you would with your best friend. It also means that you're not going to wait until you just want something. You're not going to wait until something goes bad before you talk to him. No, you'd have already gotten into the practice of talking to him on a daily basis. Also, it includes studying, it includes reading his word, it includes trying to get to know him more. And so I'm charging you, spend more time with God. Get to know his voice so that when he calls you to do something, when he's telling you to do something, you know what his voice sounds like. John 10 verse 14 says, I am the good shepherd and know my sheep and am known of mine. You can't know him if you don't talk to him. So get that relationship going. The next thing is that you need to trust God. You have to trust him with every aspect of your life. And I mean every aspect. If you don't trust him, it will be easy for you to get discouraged, defeated, depressed, and all those negative things that we don't want. And so submit your life to God. Trust him with everything and include him in every decision. And lastly, go. If God has called you to something, best believe that he has already taken care of anything that you may face. Plus, he has already made provision for you. You may not see it right away, but believe that it has already been taken care of. So go having faith and believing that God will see you through. He's not going to call you to something and just leave you just like that. No, he's not that type of person. So if he calls you, what should you do? Yes, go. Now let's recap. What are the four things you need to do in order to have Godfidence? One, have faith. Two, have a relationship with God. Three, trust Him. And four, go. Yes, don't hold back. Once you're at the place to do these four things, you can truly say that you have Godfidence and absolutely nothing can stand in your way. 
thanks for joining guys this was our final video and before we close if there are any tips that you have that you would like to share to encourage somebody to help them to have more confidence then feel free to drop it in the comments and if there are any topics that you would want us to discuss feel free to put that in the comments as well thanks for tuning in this was our last episode have a great one guys till next time stay plugged in I'll say